Hi guys, my name is Max Hahn. I'm the marketing director here at BuySells Technologies. Thank you so much for joining us here today as we unbox one of our newest base stations. Now this is actually a 5G unit, so I'm super excited about it. So without further ado, let's just get into it. All right, so we have here in Aurora 243, this is our first 5G base station here in North America. Now this is actually an integrated 5G base station, which means that both the baseband unit and the remote radio unit are housed within this unit. You just simply need a 5G receiver on the other end to make this operate as a 5G network. So the Aurora 243 is a two by 10 watt G node B. It operates in bands N41, 48, 77, and 78. So N stands for new band. It's different than B, which stands for band. Um, those are the bands which 5G is actually accessible in. Since you're operating in the new band frequency, you can get up to 100 megahertz of channel bandwidth out of this, which means that you can get up to 750 megabytes per second down and all the way up to 150 megabytes per second up. Now, while that's great capacity, you're also able to connect up to 64 active users onto the space station as well. And so you're able to get quite a bit of throughput here as you're reaching out into those remote areas in order to provide connectivity. Now this base station is integrated to work with cloud core directly out of the box. Um, if you do need to use an independent core, please make sure that that core is compatible with 5G as we have no control over which core that you're using, but you need to make sure that you have a 5G core in order to make that work. All right, so with all that being said, let's take a quick look at the ports. Uh, give me a moment here as I turn this to make it a little bit ooh, easier ooh, for you. Ooh. All right. Um, as you can see, this is a, there are three ports on this unit itself. There is the two antenna ports, and then you do have your GPS port. So like I said, it is a two by 10 watt radio. So you can get up to 10 watts through this. So your power and your backhaul are gonna be flowing uh, underneath this box. This is a weatherproof box, so that way you don't have to worry about any moisture getting up in there and, and running havoc on any of your cables. All right, so that's a quick overview of the unit itself. If you wanna learn more, you can head down to the description. There's a link to the product page down there. Um, on that product page, you can find a data sheet that has all the technical specifications that you would ever want. If you guys have even further questions or if you wanna try this bad boy out for yourself, please feel free to reach out to our sales team at sales underscore and hey at buysell.com. Um, they're happy to answer any of your questions and jump on a call and see if this is the right product for you. All right, with that being said, let's move on to what's in the box and take a quick look at that as well. All right, let's see what we got here. So a couple other items in the box here. Now, important to note that the unit that we received was an AC 5G unit. Now that's abnormal. Uh, most of these are gonna be DC units. So while we do have this AC power cable, this is not what normally is going to be included in your 5G unit. You will get a DC power cord to go along with that. So just wanted to point that out. While we do have an AC power cord here, that is not typical. Next, we have a couple of shrink tubes. So these will help you weatherproof your unit. They'll just attach to the ports after you got your antenna up in there. You can just shrink this down onto it and make sure that no moisture can get up into your antenna and ruin your day on that end. Last but not least, we got this little box, in which case we have our GPS unit. Now, if you were expecting a 5G unit to have a different GPS unit, um, do not fear, this is the same GPS unit uh, that is in all of our other base stations as well. So this will serve you very well in order to get you started with that base station. All right, well, that's everything here today, folks. Thank you so much for joining us, very much appreciated. If you'd like to get more of these videos, feel free to hit that subscribe button, hit that like, hit the comments, You know, share this on social media. We love it if you do that, it helps get the word out and we can get more of these videos out to you guys as well. If you have any requests on future videos, please let me know, we are always happy to accommodate. But otherwise, I hope to see you next time. Thank you very much. N48, N77, and N78. That is quite the tongue twister. Yeah, <laughs> 15 megabytes per second up. Now, ah, uh, blah, blah, blah.
N77 and N78. So if you're unfamiliar with which what those bands are, you can go ahead and do some Googling on your end. Um, we don't have enough time to get over that. 